so hepatitis b is the only hepatitis virus which is dna and even this dna is special why because it is partially double stranded it means that some portion of this dna is not double stranded it is single stranded and it is also circular so circular and partially double stranded dna is seen and it is the only hepatitis virus with a dna also understand it is an enveloped virus and we will see the antigen showing the envelope part so we have hbs ag and for s we have surface so i will from now say hbs ag for simplicity only s then we have hpe ag e for envelope and i will only use the word e for the hve ag and then we have hbc ag c for caspit and this does not appear in serum so we won't be talking about this antigen much more does not appear in serum and we have the partial double stranded dna so we have the s we have the e and we have the anti hps ag antibody i will say it as anti s for simplicity and we have anti e antibody and then we have anti c antibody which is according to the infection duration we have anti c igm and anti c igg now understand the significance S says that I am hepatitis B positive. Anti S says I am cured from hepatitis B. E says I am more likely causing hepatitis B to you, and anti E says I am less likely going to cause hepatitis B to you. And according to infection duration, we have anti C IgM and anti C IgG. So let's understand some uh, electron microscope picture. So dead particle is complete infective particle. and then we have spherical forms which are non infectious and we have tubular forms which are also non infectious so the clinical progression is acute infection could go into 90% a resolution and 10% chronic infection with a continuing liver damage 0.1% can go into fulminant hepatitis and with treatment we can convert this into a suspended liver damage and if you stop taking the treatment or there is a mutation in the virus an acute and chronic liver damage can occur so acute infection serology we will see so s and e s says i am hepatitis b infected e says i am having a good infectivity i can infect you and i have anti c igm so acute infection and then we have replicating viron complete particle dead particle so resolution we have with resolution we have anti s antibody so once anti s antibody i am not suffering from hepatitis b with anti c igg so chronic infection the infection had occurred and it is a lot of time it has occurred and gone with chronic infection we will see the antigen here we will see the e antigen with good infectivity may be seen may not be seen and the anti c ig m antibody will convert into i anti c ig g antibody and there is still replicating viral and causing liver damage with fulminant hepatitis we have a lot of liver damage and lot of viral which are replicating with treatment what treatment can be given when viron is 20000 international unit liver enzymes greater than two times increase we will give tenofovir or entecavir and that will cause the s will remain because infectious is there the infectivity will reduce e will go and we have anti c igg and anti e with non infective bodies replicating the tubular and spherical form acute and chronic damage we have again the anti c igm appearing 